Hi buddy, it's Jira here and I hope you are ready for the second of my odd embellishment uh, process videos <laughs> where I tackle um, the odd embellishments or the odd motif embellishment. I should be more clear about that. Uh, in this uh, video I thought I was going to tackle the very pretty, very magical unicorn. <laughs> so what better way to do that than to scrapbook a photo of my own very magical little pony. Um, this photo is taken like 2013, 14 or even, yeah, no, it has to be a lot, uh, it has to be like around 2010 or something. Gosh. Um, anyway, I had uh, a pony when I was growing up. I had him for about um, until I was like 18, I think. Uh, he was so old and he, he was put to sleep in the end. Um, but when we did that, I had had uh, I had been with him for half my life. So yeah, he was very, very special to me. He was a white little Arab Connemara pony. Uh, and I would have to say it was the love of my life. This pony was amazing. So I thought, what better way uh, to remember that than to scrapbook him with a bunch of unicorns. <laughs> I do have a whole album just with uh, uh, layers about him, so this uh, page will end up in that album later. So what I'm going to start with is to mat my photo. And I started with matting it with a glitter paper, because why not? And then um, I just rummaged through, the, ah, blah, rummaged through my sort of scrap pouch where I have some scrap um, papers. And uh, I talked in the first video about what kind of embellishments I had managed to pull out. But if you haven't seen that, um, these are mostly from Maggie Holmes. I would say all of them are um, different collections. The papers I have, uh, I have a white piece of cardstock as my base. And then you can see that flower paper had like the holographic foil. That's from Prima and that's leftover from my December Daily um, album. I didn't use it there. And when I saw, I saw it when I looked through my my scrap pouch, and I was like, "That is so magical and perfect." So I'm just going to use that on this page. Um, so I have, uh, you can see that unicorn. It says unicorn behind the photo, and that piece I'm holding right now, that is from that paper. I just fussy cut it out. So I'm going to use the both pieces, but I'm going to split it up. Also going to look through my Chamel um, sticker folder I think they call it uh, and I'm going to pull out the unicorns I see there uh, also in this it's really fun in this collection they have that holographic um, glitter of foil uh, so I'm going to use that because of the the papers I have there I, th so I thought that was kind of um, quite perfect also the glitter I have matched my photon is not silver but more of that holographic disco crazy paper so <laughs> um, they're quite perfect, but I'm going to sort of stick mostly to um, uh, some cool colours. Also, if you can see, the photo is almost completely blue because it's taking in that sort of mid-winter light. Um, well, lack of light here in Sweden in the mid-winter. We don't really have light. <laughs> it's more like a blue shadow. So, yeah, I'm going to add a bit more of that glitter paper on top of this washi strip. And that's also from the um, folder. I thought it was quite cool. So, um, speaking of all the weird embellishments, um, how can we sort of use them? Well, in this case, uh, I'm taking inspiration from both my photo, because um, I have him, I sort of see him as a, as a unicorn, and also a big, uh, really nice uh, illustrator here in Sweden. She is like the biggest when it comes to um comics for horses. Uh, she actually, actually drew, drew my horse as a unicorn once. That was many, many years ago. And that is a uh, quite vivid memory of mine. Uh, so he has always been a unicorn. But uh, what we can take inspiration is from partly that he is a horse. And I think unicorns, like you can use unicorns for every kind of horse related thing, really. Uh, also because Unicorns are quite magical beings. We see them as quite magical. So if you have something magical, you can put a unicorn on it. Uh, <laughs> and as I said in my previous video, I think the best way for all of these odd 
embellishments are just to embrace the oddness of it. So in this case, uh, I could have just left my play, uh, layout as it is, put a unicorn on, on it, and that would have been just fine. Um, now I'm putting um, quite a lot of unicorns on here, but I think it looks really cool. And I'm really happy I got with that sort of holographic foil. I have never done a page with when that has been like um, a thing. I have done, I mean, silver and gold, obviously, but never the holographic. And I think it's really, really cool. And it will look really cool in my album and really eye-catching. Um, so yeah, I think that is also that sometimes with these sort of odd motifs that we get a bit stuck in a way of thinking that it has to be uh, the unicorn has to be used with uh, a picture of a white horse with a horn you know um, and I'm not really helping that image scrapbooking a white horse <laughs> I realize that but I also think there is some other tips to be found I mean um, I think that if you I mean obviously I would not use a magic or a unicorn scrapbooking like my dad. I will be quite honest about that. I um, think that might be a bit of over overkill. But I mean, yeah, I think yeah, scrapbooking young girls, um, boys maybe if they like horses. If you have a picture of you uh, with a horse, um, but it can also be just sort of taking the the meaning of the symbol um i think like i said before i think unicorns often symbolize something magical or something special um so i think you can use magic uh, magic you can use unicorns scrapbooking someone or something you think is magical like maybe you have a friend that is just amazing and magical for you well use a unicorn as a, a symbol while scrapbooking about that friend maybe it is something that you have looked for something that you have really wanted but have never found because it's so hard to find that when you find it's like finding a unicorn I don't know what that would be um, uh, a piece of clothing it could be like uh, uh, a vintage dresser, maybe that's just me, <laughs> but you know, something that is very unique and very special. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm almost done with this page. I'm going to add my final touches. I put a little tag from the Chamel folder there with just some journaling about how uh, he was my unicorn. Going to add some more iridescent holographic uh, bling here with some of these little gemstones. I was like all out. I had so much fun making this page. Uh, I think I have to get some more of this holographic yeah, rainbow looking stuff. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to do is add some uh, Heidi Shine in silver. No, no, it's called tinsel. Sorry, but it's the silver color. You know what I mean. Uh, and I'm going to add that all over because I felt like everything was a bit too white. So I'm just going to add the splatter because it's fun. And I'm also going to you can see when I have masked my photo, I'm going to allow the drips a bit onto the photo because I really like the look of that, just not on his face, so so he doesn't get like freckles. Um, he actually did get freckles in the summer on his nose. Gosh, I miss that horse. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have liked this video and that you have gotten some tips on using those really fun unicorns. Um, yeah, and if you have any tips on using unicorns or other odd embellishment motifs, I would love to hear them and I think Ada would love to read about them. So please leave uh, your comments down below so we can get some more tips. Uh, my next video will be talking about swans. Hmm. If you didn't catch my previous videos, we talked about zebras. So if you're interested in using those, check that out. And yeah, I hope to see you soon.